Hey everyone, it's your buddy Crypto Profit back with another video. And today we're gonna have a price prediction video covering a lot of new information and news of Decentraland Mana. So make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and like the video if you are a Decentraland holder, because we talk about it quite a lot on this channel and give you guys that brief update and news information, as well as price predictions as they update and so forth and so on. So let's get started today with Decentraland. So we see a dollar fifty-eight right now, a eleven point three one percent increase in the last twenty-four hours. If we take a look at the last week alone, about an eight percent increase. Do remember we had a stabilization around a dollar forty, dollar forty-five, dollar to forty-six. We did dip down. Uh, obviously, most of the market had. A little bit of a struggle recently, um, but then we are coming back at full throttle. It looks like we've recovered plus some at this point. Uh, you know, we dipped down to a dollar thirty-six May sixth, three thirty p.m. However, a lot of news pushing Decentraland back up to this dollar fifty-eight, and we're going to be talking about that news here in just a second. There is not just one, not just two, but there's at least you know a few different articles, a few different tweets that we're going to be checking out today that really did help push Decentraland up. And I think the future of Decentraland is great because of these. So let's see what Decentraland all is. So Decentraland Mana is an Ethereum token that powers the Decentraland virtual reality platform. Mana can be used to pay for virtual plots of land in Decentraland as well as in world goods and services. So if you guys don't know what Decentraland is, we'll also talk more about that here in just a second. Uh, but let's jump into our first article or tweet. So thanks to Decentraland and Voxel Architects that built our headquarters, uh, this company now has a meeting place for employee events in the metaverse. So consensus has a spot to meet. And it's actually pretty cool. Obviously, you can see it in the metaverse. This is what they, um, you know, have designed. Uh, it's just cool, you know, more and more coins and companies really taking advantage of Decentraland, actually making their HQ or headquarters inside the metaverse itself, which is pretty cool, obviously, for a lot of people, uh, definitely users of the metaverse. They love seeing, you know, obviously more and more integration. Now we have next, one of the bigger, uh, you know, topics of today is fans of Decentraland and Mana, listen up. You can book travel with us, Binance Pay with Mana. If you book a hotel and activity or tour this month, we are going to credit you 5% back. Go explore somewhere new or an old favorite with the travel or traveler.com. So you can actually use obviously Decentraland or Mana to pay. Uh, it's just a big deal, obviously, continuing to see Decentraland reach out and get big, big partnerships. Uh, you know, Travala is definitely one of those that you would love to see. Next, we have tonight Playboy comes to Decentraland with Grime Monday. Slime Sunday and for a very special exhibition of, you know, its first ever NFT collection. So obviously a big deal. You can see here, once again, job well done to Central Land, come visit. So you can see that there's a Playboy, I guess, um, you know, an actual place you can go and see these NFTs in person, uh, you know, through VR, obviously. Uh, but it's a big deal, obviously, seeing more and more, uh, you know, partnerships coming to Decentraland in the actual metaverse itself. It's going to really start to really add popularity to uh, Decentraland altogether. Next we have today we show you we made the official Chain Guardians headquarters for Decentraland. Meet your favorite guardians and everything you need to know about them. So you can actually watch this. They make a pretty cool headquarters. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can hear this. It might be pretty loud if you can, so I'll turn that down. Uh, but you can actually see you know them go through it and actually make their headquarters. Very, very, very cool. I've, you know, Obviously, more and more, like I said, companies and coins making headquarters inside the game itself, which is very, very cool as we continue to see more and more partnerships and integrations into the actual game. So next off, we have, well, let me make sure I pause this so you guys don't keep hearing stuff in the background if it is playing. So the second project on Project Spotlight is Decentraland. This is from Polygon, obviously tweeting this, the first fully decentralized metaverse. They talk more about, you know, with more than 100,000 users, exhibitions from two, uh, sorry, top artists and you know, vibrant ecosystems like Decentral Games, Decentraland is the pioneer of a virtual world powered by blockchain. Did you know inspiration for Decentraland has been drawn from iconic books and movies like Snow Crash or an or and Ready Player One? We also see, you know, with such strong roots and aesthetics, ideals of open metaverses, Decentraland is a you know, a platform that is ushering in the next era of the internet. So it's going to be very exciting to continue to see, you know, what Decentraland all, you know, attracts as well as grabs uh, as partnerships going forward. Next, we see Decentraland event details address. So upcoming events uh, include a bunch of them. And this is obviously, uh, you know, one of those things that we check out on the Decentraland website itself. If you go to Decentraland.org, you can see all of the information about Decentraland, why it's so, uh, you know, so much, I guess, attractiveness to Decentraland right now. So many people really starting to invest in it. And we're starting to see that obviously in the price, $1.58. And let's give it a quick refresh, see where we're at right now. $1.60, we continue to rise. I think Decentraland is going to continue to rise throughout 2021. We've talked about it a lot on this channel. Um, you know, previously $1.63 was the all-time high. Decentraland is trying to push past that. Uh, you know, we did have $1.55 here and now we're at $1.60. We're starting to, like I said, push past that $1.60 mark and hopefully make our way to that new all-time high. If we do take a look at the website though and 
a little bit more detail. Create, explore, and trade in the first ever virtual world owned by its users. You can uh, obviously explore, lose yourself in an amazing evolving world. Create, test the limits of your imagination, and trade the virtual uh, destination for digital assets as well. So there's a lot you can actually do on the website itself. You can go to the marketplace, see what's all for sale. There's actually items for sale, including wearables and assets, parcels and estates, which is basically plots of land. And then they have names, different names that are popular. So you can actually buy a bunch of different stuff on the website itself. And then there's also an events tab, which shows you how popular Decentraland is really getting. There are so many new events every single day. So right now there are four events live during the day. And then they also have, you know, four hours, four hours, five hours, five hours, seven hours, seven hours. So a bunch of different events really taking place and more and more really every day being, uh, you know, kind of taken advantage of. I think we are going to continue to see Decentraland grow. I think the price will obviously grow with that and uh, more and more integrations and partnerships along the way. So it's going to be exciting to continue to cover this coin. So like I said previously, if you guys want this information, want this news or information as quickly as possible, uh, make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on and like the video. So going back to this price, I do want to refresh it one more time. And then we're going to jump straight into our price predictions for May, June and 2021. Do remember guys, I am not a financial advisor. So always do your own research before investing as well as always, uh, you know, one thing you guys have to realize is I'm not going to be saying Decentraland is going to do a 100x. It's at a $2.5 billion market cap. I will be doing conservative price predictions. I'll do exactly, uh, you know, try to be as honest and realistic as possible so you guys um, you don't expect 100x's from coins with over a billion dollar market cap. Most likely not going to happen in a year time frame. So 24 hours right now, we do see a 12.37% increase. In the last week alone, a 9.3% increase. I do suspect that we will continue to see close to a 65% increase in the next, up, uh, I guess, the next upcoming months, obviously coming from, you know, 92 cents to about $1.60. I would suggest that Decentraland could easily make its way past $2 by the end of May. I think that's going to be a price target for us to actually reach. If we can reach above $2 by the end of May, we are going to be well on our way to a very healthy price point for Decentraland. I think by the end of June, if we could actually make ourselves past the $2.50 mark or even close to a $3, uh, you know, price range, that would be amazing. I think $2.50 to $3 is definitely a realistic price prediction for the end of June. So by the end of 2021, that is the question for a lot of people. Where do we think Decentraland could end up? Well, if we keep getting and grabbing these huge partnerships like Travala, um, obviously Play Playboy, I believe, and then um, what was the other one? We had... I can't even think of the other one. Well, we basically have a bunch of headquarters hopping in, Consensus and uh, you know Chain Games, as well as... I think there was another one. Let's check it out. Travala, Chain Games, Playboy, uh, Poke... Well, a bunch of different events, I guess coming to Decentraland. I do suspect that we will see 2021 being a great year for Decentraland. And we're already kind of really seeing that, obviously, with this increase in the last year coming from, um, you know, really February. Before February, it was, you know, 10 cents. Actually, at the very beginning of the year, let's see where we were at. We were at uh, the beginning of the year uh, below 8 cents. So if you were able to get in at below 8 cents, you were seeing substantial profit right now. And we're going to continue to see this grow in my opinion. Like I said, by the end of 2021, I haven't given you the price prediction yet, but I'm going to give you to you. It is right around eight to $10 is my price prediction for Decentraland by the end of the year. I think that's definitely something we can get in, you know, in that price range at the very least. I'm going to be realistic and say seven to 10 lower just a little bit, because like I said, conservative price predictions, I think $7 is something we should be shooting for at the very least. I think it's very possible though, like I said, that we can get to $10 as well. So we'll see what happens. I think it's definitely going to be a fun coin to cover. Uh, definitely with all these partnerships and new things happening with it. It's going to be uh, it's going to be a wild ride. I'm excited to see, like I said, where it's going to go. And uh, so thank you guys so much for tuning in about Decentraland. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know in the, you know, I guess in the comment section below and I'll try to answer everything. Obviously a lot of comments, so it's going to be hard to get to everyone, but let yourself be known and heard and I'll try to uh, reach out to you. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on.